Let's, Let's imagine, imagine that I give you a huge pile of heavy books and leave you standing in place for, say, 20 minutes. Then I come back and ask you a simple question. Are you doing work right now? Considering that your arms will be aching and your back sore, you will probably give a categorical yes. But in physics terms, you actually did no work at all. Sorry to disappoint you. Work is a force applied over a distance and involves the transfer of energy from one type to another. Whenever energy is transferred between types, work is being done somewhere. But for you to do work on an object, for example, for you to do work on the books, you have to apply a force to them and cause them to move in the direction of that force. So if you lifted the books, you would most certainly be doing work. But so since you were just holding them in place, you did no work at all. You applied a force, but your distance was zero. Technically, that example, though often used by physics teachers, is a bit misleading. The fact that your muscles are tired tells you that work was being done somewhere. The food in your body, chemical energy, was being changed into heat energy in your muscles. But your body as a whole wasn't doing work. All the work was being done deep inside your body. You weren't doing work on the books. The translation or equation for work is force multiplied by distance. A greater force means greater work. But we're talking about rotation. Instead, instead of force, force in rotation, we have torque. Instead, instead of moving a distance in rotation, we rotate around an angle. So the, so the rotational rotation equation for work says the work measured in joules is equal, equal to torque, tau, tau measured in newton meters, multiplied by the change in angle, theta, measured in radians, not, not degrees. Power, Power is often a more useful measure, measure in the real world. world. Telling us that a light bulb did a thousand joules of work isn't very helpful, because if it did those thousand joules of work over, say, a million years, the light bulb would have been very dim, and if it did that work over two seconds, it would be super bright. Power is the work done per second, or in other words, the energy used per second, measured in watts. So if work is taught more by the change in angle, the power will be the same thing divided by the time it took to do the work. Distance over time is velocity, so the change in angle over time is also equal to the angular velocity. So we can replace theta over t with the symbol for angular velocity, omega, and then here we have another possible equation for rotation of work, torque multiplied by angular velocity. You can use whichever equation is most useful in a particular situation. Now let's do an example. Let's say that the wind applies a 200 newton force to the outside edge of a wind turbine over a period of 10 seconds. Causing, causing the turbine to turn by high radians. That's, that's 180 degrees. If the wind, if the wind turbine has a radius of 5 meters, how much work, work would the wind do on the wind turbine? And how, and how much power was generated? Well, well rotational, rotational work is taught by the change, change, change in angle. We know, we know the change in angle, high radians, radians so, we so we can write, write that down as a known. We also, we also know the time it took, T, which is 10 seconds. We don't yet know the torque. In another, in another lesson, we learned that torque is similar to force, but it's a force multiplied by the distance of the rotation axis, which, which, which in this case is just the radius of the turbine. So if, so if we multiply 300 by 5, we'll get our torque of 1500 newton so, so now we have another now. All we, All we have to do now is plug numbers into the equation and solve the work. The torque of 1500 multiplied by the change in angle pi, which gives us 4712 joules of work. Finally, to figure out the power generated, you can take that work and divide it by the time it took to do the work. 4712 divided by 10 seconds gives us 471.2 watts of power. And that's it, we're done. Work is a force applied over a distance and involves a transfer of energy from one side to another. Whenever energy is transferred between types, work is being done somewhere. But for you to do work on an object, for example, for you to do work on a stack of books, you have, you have to apply a force to them and cause them, them to move in the direction of that force. The rotational, the rotational equation for work says that work measured in joules is equal to torque, tau, tau, tau measured in newton meters, multiplied by the change in angle, theta, measured in radians, not, not degrees. Power, Power is, is the work per second, second, or in, or in other words, the energy used per second, measured in watts. So if, so if work is torque multiplied by the change in angle, the power will be the same thing divided by the time it took to do the work. Another, Another possible equation for rotational power is torque multiplied by angular velocity. You can use whichever equation is most useful in a particular question.